Hello, how's it going? Uh, welcome to Thursday. Um, it is nice to have you with us or be with you, whatever you want to say. I'm Deb. This I'm Adam. <laughs> so today, um, we have shown you guys Perceptor and Lockdown before. We'll go through them again. We'll also talk about this weekend's event, but we're going to cut the stream short today and uh, sort of end at 5.30, so in like half an hour's time, um, because we're sort of gearing up for bigger things that are coming and there's no... No point in, in dwelling on stuff when uh, we don't have enough stuff to say. Also, we're really, really, really super busy, but we definitely still wanted to see you guys today. So We're also releasing a new build, like, right now. Um, yeah, so everyone's like, I'll, I'll go through some of, the, some of the things that are going to be fixed and some of the improvements we're going to introduce in Monday on Monday's content release. But first things first, let's say hi to you guys because it is uh, always nice to see you. So we have got, of course, prime time. We've got Johnny Hall, I believe he might be new. We've got uh, DS on Andra Cock, Dian Gross, uh, Sachin, hello. Uh, we've got Scourge and uh, Bleeding Buckeye, Ar Artster. Uh, who else? Optimus Tommy, hello. Nice to see you always. Uh, Spectre sixty nine. Uh, Day of Earth, Techno Angel, Sup, <laughs> Risty Bot, Baby J Prime, hello, hello, uh, Pang Master, hello, Ass Blaster, always, <laughs> always nice to see you, <laughs> Dirty Spot, Howdy to you as well, Elusive, um, GW Props, D Spidey 703, uh, Jumper Cliff, uh, Park, Park of Lee, um, yes. Nice to see, oh, let me pause this for a minute. Uh, yeah, nice to see all of you guys. Who else we got? We got Metaron, hello, and DPO88, always nice to see you. Oh, and this one, hold on. Uh, you know least, new. Always, always nice to have new people as well. And of course, we've got some people on the Facebook. Uh, we've got Joseph and Nate and John uh, and Eric. Uh, Steven, hello, uh, nice to see all of you guys, and of course, uh, we've got YouTube as well, I remember I saw somebody up there saying first, who was it, Hunter, hey, how's it going, <laughs> we've got, uh, ooh, this is a tough one, Akakasi, Mitsumoto, Naname, and Seki Daichi, I, am I, I am not saying anything on the word. <laughs> Uh, we've got uh, Kratosis, we've got Jefferson, Vader, uh, we have got Emmanuel, hello, uh, Wasif, what's up, Robo Bobo, <laughs> that's a good one, Mega Dyn Dynacon, uh, Shellshocked, hello, FCB123, Frederick, Greg, um, uh, War of Hell, uh, lots, lots of you guys here as well. Anywho, so uh, we can maybe, I was going to start with the event, but then I thought, hey, maybe we should run through the bots real quick before the event because or the you build. can... What? Or for the build as well. Because if you're on iOS, you should update your app right now. Especially if you're experiencing crashes. Okay, while you're talking about that, I'll get Perceptor and lock that up so you can get a refresher of, of these guys before we chat about the event, which is all about how you guys can get your hands on them. Yeah. So, uh, go the, Adam, I'll... Uh, yeah, oh, the, the, actually, whilst you chat, um, uh, Kazoo, who is our uh, Japanese community manager, sent in some lovely Japanese art. So I'm going to leave that playing Ooh. whilst you talk. Uh, this is fan art from the community. Uh, so... We'll leave that playing over oh, my oh, face. I can't, I can't talk now. I just, I'm just looking at it. It's <laughs> really, really cool. Uh, that's actually some dialogue from the event. Very, very cool. Uh, so yeah, you guys check that out. Listen to Adam talk about the build updates. I'm oh my god, that is so cool. Perceptor and lockdown in the, in the meantime. But yeah, really, really stunning stuff uh, coming in over here. Very cool. So this yeah. Is, this is really cool. I'm right now, I'm really struggling trying to... Adam's like, mesmerized. Go, go, this. go. Uh, oh my god, look at this. It's, it's Octopod being like... Bitten by, by, by shark to come. That is lovely. Okay, it's looping <laughs> now. Uh, so um, yeah, the, took us a while, but the the low uh, the long outstanding improvements to performance, especially on um, on some of the most affected iOS devices like iPhone 6 Plus, uh, they're out. I think the, the build should already be uh, in store, uh, and if you don't have it or if you can't see the update, it will probably propagate uh, in the next minutes. 
so um, yeah, make sure you update if you if you had uh, issues. We are not force up updating people, so we will, we will not require you to update right now for the next couple of days. Um, so if it's running perfectly for you, you don't have to do that. But uh, if you'd like to, then then go for it. And there's a range of improvements that are coming with the with the build itself. Um, one of them is is the troops uh, being interrupted during deployment. Uh, that should be resolved. Uh, there's going to be more stuff coming in with the content on Monday, uh, and that will include uh, the boost to the battle boosts. So something we uh, we announced before, but we haven't um, we haven't uh, spoken much about since. So uh, we uh, want to make battle boosts uh, always relevant. So starting next week, uh, your battle boosts will scale with the HQ level um, that you have. And let me just take a look at some of my magical sheets to bring you exactly the numbers that they will scale towards. Uh, you'll be able to see all that information on the wiki uh, soon. Uh, but just an exam as an example, uh, a smart bomb mark three, which used to deal 600 damage, which was just a flat amount. Um, if you're an HQ 10 uh, player, that would be four, 1440. And if you're, let's say, HQ 15, that will deal 2,280 damage, which is um, quite substantial. It can actually one-shot certain structures. Uh, then if you look at stuff like the uh, Orbital Strike, um, Mark III, uh, one that used to deal just 400 damage, uh, at HQ 15 will deal 1,240. And the repairs, uh, Mark III will do 600. Uh, at HQ 15, that will deal um, that will repair bots for 2,100, and that's AOE uh, repair. Uh, and that scales with um, that scales kind of smoothly between HP levels and affects uh, the, the bomb boost, the EMP, uh, the incendiary barrage, um, the orbital strike, and the repairs. So any damage or heal values will be affected uh, for these boosts starting next week. I think Monday uh, when we release the content and when we uh, force people to have that version of the game running and that's when we can turn the switch. Um, what else is coming? There's actually a, a lot of improvements. Uh, I have some here on the chat. Um, right. Um, we fixed some some uh, some bugs with uh, like combiners showing multiple level ups uh, even though you only need, like level them up once. Um, the Transformers characters actually will look better in the showroom. So you will see uh, a new or new shader uh, improving uh, making them a bit more vibrant, a bit uh, brighter on some devices. And that should be uh, welcome, and that will, that's in the build already, so if you updated your version, uh, you'll see it. Um, several battle improvements to, to airstrikes being interrupted, um, to both kind of freezing or getting permanent um, uh, speed boosts from the, from the battle, um, for, the, for the inspiring charge. Um, we added uh, sound effects uh, to Sideswipe. Uh, when he's transforming in showroom, he'll get that extra engine vroom vroom sound. Uh, so a lot of little small things um, and the big things like the improvements to the to the uh, uh, crashing issues, the new battle flow, and uh, of course uh, the the battle boosts. Right. Um, cool. That's the, that's the, Shall we? That's it in, in, in the in the nutshell. Uh, always you can always refer to the to the uh, app store description for the the fixes that are coming with the build, and then to our Wikipedia uh, to oh, sorry to our wiki uh, Transformers wiki to get uh, like a detailed breakdown of what's changing and what. Correcto. So, as I said, oh, that hasn't... Enough admin. That is actually the uh, event. Uh, it, it's cool, it's frozen on that, but um, I have Perceptor ready to roll here as well, so get ready. But anyways, this weekend's event is called Target Lock. Might as well start uh, with the event. Um, and basically, you're going to get a chance to win a two, three, or four star Perceptor uh, or Lockdown, depending on which side you're fighting. It is an alliance event, so. A leaderboard event. Leaderboard yes, event as well. It's a leaderboard event as well. As well. I sounded my true self, my German self there. As well. Um, and you'll get double XP in your event battle zones. Make sure you battle in the event battle zones because otherwise your points are not going to count towards the event. Yeah. And you know what you should do? No of course, there's double XP as well. Um, sure if it, we should reenact the cutscene from the newsletter. This one? Um, Wait, which one? So there'll be... Uh, oh, this? Not yet planned. 
when the event is live, there will be the, the, the cutscene. Do, do you have the... Well, I have the event on the other thing. See, I went a bit backwards. Okay, so, later. okay. We're going we're gonna to take a look at Perceptor now. <laughs> that way I, you guys I love know the story. We had, we had loads of fun doing the story it? for the event. There will be... Uh, there's a pop-up at the beginning and there's a... Uh, from the newsletter, I believe. Uh, and then there's another one when you get the... <coughs> when you get the crystal. The, the two-star crystal from the totalizer. And yeah, I think it's really funny. I love it. Yeah, so here's Perceptor, the mighty microscope, <laughs> as I like to call him. He's pretty cool. Um, the scientist, you know. Last week I, I called him bronze versus brain. Um, and I actually, it was really funny because in the news feed, I spelled brawn, B R A U N, and then Andrew, who's sitting somewhere over there, made fun of me and said, like, oh, what? Is it about razors or something? Because, you know, brawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, no, brawn, B R A W N. So there you go. Anyways, uh, so this is the brains of the, of the two. Um, and here we can, we can read out the, the, the event details as to why they're actually, um, you know, in this week's event. And that is, Lockdown has tirelessly tracked Perceptor's every move, sticking to his heels like a bad case of cyber ticks. Those are the worst, aren't they? Uh. With the tempting reward in his sights, the Decepticon bounty hunter will not rest until Perceptor is hanging on his trophy wall. But, of course, Perceptor's options are to run until the last of his energon is depleted, hide, and hope that Optimus can recall him in time, or, and this is obviously the better choice, stand and fight. As an Autobot, there is only one logical choice, which is, everybody together? Run away. Okay, Adam has a good <laughs> That's why I'm in the Stand and fight. Pesky Autobots! Anyway, so uh, like I said, we'll take a look at Lockdown in just a second. Uh, here you have Perceptor, who's pretty, who is pretty, pretty cool. And um, as I said, you get a chance to win a 2, 3, or 4 star Perceptor. Or lockdown. Yeah. One thing I would advise is, especially with Perceptor and lockdown, advise it. is to is to level up their ability because that um, is absolutely agnostic of their level. Um, if you want it to be powerful, just level up their. What ability. is their ability, Adam? Uh, in case of Perceptor, it's the it's a defense hack, and uh, in case of uh, so taking control of the enemy defense, making it uh, damage its own friends instead of firing at you. Um, and in case of lockdown, it's of course spawning the baby laser, aka mini laser, a uh, small beam laser that can uh, target, uh, that will prioritize enemy defenses, and for the next thirty seconds, will attack them with uh, increasing power as you as you level it up. So um, yeah, I, I think these boats can be viable even on level one, provided you upgrade their abilities. Also, uh, in these three, uh, in the case of these three bots, the higher the star rating of the bot, the better the ability. So the lasers become more powerful. Uh, from the get-go, and the uh, starting duration of the hack is also higher, uh, the higher the level uh, of the bot. And um, yeah, when it comes to defense hack, uh, I, I might be buffed further in the future, I'm not sure because it already like stuns the defense by like, disabling it from attacking you mm -hmm. and making it deal damage, so uh, I'm not sure, we'll see. Uh, maybe maybe I'll, I'll, I'll take another uh, look at it uh, in the future. Here's Lockdown being pretty badass with his sickle. And of course, transforming into da -da -da. Snifty vehicle. Yeah, I love it. I know Lockdown's pretty cool. It's really, Fury is. Road. They're both they're both very cool. Uh, so yeah, you've got Lockdown Perceptor, and and it looks really smart on this with our new shaders and stuff. Yeah, I think we already had that showing here on the stream. I think so, but still, pretty looks cool. Looks sweet. Looks pretty sweet indeed. Okay, uh, I am going to go. Back to the event, maybe we can do the dialogue. I'm not sure if it'll be here or not. It might, if I say, take part. Let's see. Yeah, try it. No, no that will show you the, that will show you the totalizer. But there was a, there was a, um, <coughs> Can I show this? Uh, yeah, sure, sure, we should do the totalizer. Yeah, absolutely. Here um, go. Yeah, force field, woo! But, uh, <laughs> you get a two-star crystal. That crystal, no, that's not a crystal. Um, there's a two-star uh, perceptor crystal at the top, and there's some shards, and some spark, lots of force field boosts, mm. and of course there's a leaderboard with our amazing test alliances, uh, and the rewards for the leaderboard are um, not unlike the, the previous leaderboard events. The last leaderboard event we had was with Bizarros and Star Saber in December, uh, so it's been 
It's been too long, let's say. <laughs> um, we've got the free star guaranteed for uh, 6 to 80, uh, position 6 to 80. And then we've got free star crystal with some premium stuff and lots of premium crystals for uh, anyone between 201 and 300. I think it's 10. And then the 5 from 301 to 400. And I believe if there's a newsletter here, maybe. Uh, maybe. Oh, there is. Ah, oh, you, get ready, okay. Debs. Uh, and we yes, are prime time I am a lot. I've been under the weather for like weeks. It's just part of my being now. It's, I don't know. All right, where this will be the part of the stream you the really hate or really love, <laughs> um, possibly hate. Oh wait, I think it's uh, it's decided to 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 be a bit of a no. problem child. There we go. All right, the leaderboard we can show. Okay. In a moment. What's that? We can show the leaderboard again. But. All right, you ready um, to play the transmission? Who am I? Do you want to choose a side? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna be the. This is where, okay, where okay. Adam gets his We will switch different. characters. Oh, oh, wow. No, 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 not switch. Like, first, first one is me, yeah. then it's you, then it's me. No matter what it is. Yeah, no okay. matter what it is. Ready? And then and we stick to them. Got it. Right? Yeah. All right. Hey, I won't, cool. I won't uh, deviate from the plan. <laughs> I did not trust this, like. There you go. Come in, Autobots. I'm out of energy and I'm preparing to stand my ground against lockdown. If you're ever going to recall me, now's the time. No. You! You won't get away so easily! I want my bounty! Target lock confirmed. Prime! I've got a space bridge lock! The, oh my gosh. The targeting sensors are being pushed to the limits, though. We can't wait any longer. Perceptor Spark is at risk. Go, go, go! Transmission protocol initiated. That was better than last Spark signature match, lockdown. <laughs> what the? Where am I? Oh, come on! That's you? No, I thought. Oh. You're Russian. I am? Yeah, Let's go for it. Um, I think we've got a situation. By the celestial spires, what is lockdown doing here? You see how Adam switched there? You did. Ratchet, <laughs> locate receptor immediately. Ironhide, Bumblebee, take the prisoner to the Ark. We need to figure out our next steps. I think Adam just... No, stick to the craft you want to get it. Oh, uh, I don't remember you're what ratchet. character was. I was just always doing ratchet. the one on this side. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so basically what I happened is... I swear we'll is, get better, guys. We'll get we, better. We tried to recall Perceptor and we ended up with lockdown in our space bridge. Um, so, bit of a oh, mess up. Um, <laughs> and there was another... <laughs> Better, even better story uh, um, on the um, oh. on the end of the totalizer when you get your two stalker stall. And now that we're done embarrassing ourselves, yeah, uh, we can take a second look, very quick look at the leaderboards that people can actually um, the, yeah, the make sure it's still showing. So yeah. they can see that yeah, there's a three star here, four star here, three star and five premium, ten premium, and five premium. Right. Good. Let's cool. answer some questions, maybe. Yeah, all right, yeah, we've got about uh, just under 10 minutes, and we'll take some cues from you, so... Yeah. So, uh, someone mentions that we should uh, add more time to the clock, uh, to the attack clock. Um, I'm, uh, right now, I'm, I'm, we are adding more tools to fight with uh, time traps, uh, rather than adding... Uh, so, trying to kind of mix the defensive strategies a little, uh, put people on their toes. Uh, we are not thinking about uh, adding extra time uh, as of yet. That would be kind of a. I think it would be a, admitting we put some kind of defeat. I, I want. I want time to be there and be relevant, and you, sh you should be able to run out of time. But uh, it shouldn't be the way, like the optimal way to win. Definitely. Uh, so we'll see whether whether some of the new tools that you will be given uh, will help you or or not. Um, all right, more. Oh, somebody was asking about whether fuel cells that you get in bundles will go into inventory. Uh, it's up to Andrew to configure. Yeah, I think I'm it's not, an Andrew question. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's an Andrew question. Um, I, I can't say. I, I, I think that the purpose of the fuel cell bundles is to stock them on top and just 
use them rather than... Uh, it's dangerous to have a load of stuff in the inventory because then you could end up with some weird situations in certain competitive events where people will be able to like use the stocked up uh, stuff yeah. repeatedly. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what the exact logic is behind it. It's not my area of expertise. But we will uh, we'll find out from Andrew for you. Uh, C. Paul and Star says, will we get more events focused around getting combiner members? Um, so it's another possibly. It's another uh, question. Uh, I don't think like in the near future, not, but not in the immediate at some future point for sure. Yeah, there will be um, after this leaderboard event. There'll be something relaxing, and then there'll be mm -hmm. something um, quite epic as well. But uh, it wouldn't be a combiner. Uh, King Star Screen, the real says, Hi Adam, hope you don't mind the conversation a couple of weeks. You know the punch counter punch idea. I don't know yes, what, I'm not, what that is. It's, it's a pretty cool suggestion, um, and we always take suggestions for what bots we should add to the game. Uh, a lot of the suggestions we're already uh, kind of trying to, to realize. Uh, there are Dinobots in the game, there will be more Dinobots in the game, absolutely. Um, you know, Cap is gonna make it, well, it's not a secret. Hunger is gonna make it to the game, not a secret either, and they're not gonna be paired with each other, so there's gonna be some, someone else uh, on the other side. Uh, so there, there is definitely, uh, we are going through the list of really cool bots and trying to uh, check them one by one. Um, we try to do them justice when we, when we create them. We, it is our intention to create triple changes as a game feature as well, uh, so that means they would have multiple abilities. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, the punch and counter punch is, is another one of these, uh, I think, cool little nifty uh, bot ideas. Uh, it's just a matter of slotting it somewhere and also mm -hmm. prioritizing it against uh, other bots that uh, you know could be could have like an overwhelming community uh, sentiment behind them. Uh, so yeah, it's always a balancing act. Shannon's asking, um, or actually, it's sort of more request. Please make the research lab allow for two upgrades at once. Um, that's that's a popular request. <laughs> that's what I can say. Um, yeah, I guess the moment we allow for two, people want to get it free, and then we want to get the free. They will be asking for four. Yeah. Uh, yeah so that's the, that's the connect, uh, that's the um, that's the difficulty with it. Uh, right now, the interface uh, supports one. Uh, it's kind of clean because we have uh, we also have uh, the information about the research lab is playing it. <laughs> But um, we will go with what, what the interest is behind this and, and, and see what we can do. Cool. Uh, I'm just trying to get some... How about increasing uh, alliance numbers from 40 to 50 from Jester 95? Uh, yeah, our, I mean, our alliances are smaller than the same rival kingdoms. And they're a bit more manageable. Uh, 40 members seems to be kind of a sweet spot. Um, the moment we increase that number, there will be um, people start making, like, that will be a step against smaller alliances. Uh, it will help the ones that are already established. We are thinking about uh, actually alliance features and, and helping you see who was active, who's participating in wars, or who isn't even fighting. Uh, that sort of stuff is, is high on our priority list, and we do want to address it in uh, an actually like, close future. Um, in the next couple of releases, so we will definitely be improving alliance uh, alliance features. We have, we've asked uh, some of our community members already. We are uh, observing uh, temperature on certain requests. We are noting requests on Twitch as well and everywhere else That's on our social uh, channels. So we will be doing alliance improvements. Is is going to be increasing the member size, uh, the member count? I don't think so. Perhaps adding an additional role to the alliance um, that will allow it for a bit more control but not uh, <coughs> increasing the count necessarily. Unless, so unless there is some kind of... Um, extra spots? Um, yeah. Somebody's asking for an extra officer yeah, yeah, spot. That, um, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. In general, like, people are asking for more, more members. Uh, okay. So they can increase the count to 50. I'm not, I'm not sure if, that's, um, if that will help um, in, in wars and everywhere else, uh, or in events. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think... Uh, we just have to reevaluate that. But there's all other things we can do and we want to do that are strictly positive regarding to, uh, in regards to alliance management. 
Um, Somebody's asking also about upgrading the shuttle, which I guess is... Uh, the shuttle right now supports seven bots, and we do not have... Like, I literally don't mm. know when and if we're going to allow for it. Um, yeah. Uh, when it comes to slipstream, um, using an ability and, and, the, and the building not uh, exploding, it is possible that the, the ability itself is dealing a tiny bit of damage. If you use it a little too, too late, or if it times out, there's 20 seconds you have for the fusion bomb to explode, uh, you, yeah, you will miss the opportunity. Uh, so it is possible to finish the building by the, the projectile itself, and that will uh, cost you the, the, the ability. Um, that I can actually change. Uh, Sunstri Gawaza, you were asking, can you give a hint about the new game mode? No, that is your hint. But stay tuned. Uh, next week, we will probably... What's the date next week? It's March, right? Yeah. Next week, stay tuned because we will have a proper hint for you uh, next Thursday. So spread it around like wildfire and come back uh, next Thursday for sure because you'll get your first sort of hint or sneak peek at what is coming in uh, the next few weeks. And it is going to be uh, pretty exciting. So. Ooh, that thing. Yeah, yeah nice. that thing. And we can do another thing as well. So there'll be like, wow, we'll do oh, another. Oh, there'll be a few things. Yeah, we'll definitely be back for an hour next week. Um, <clears throat> somebody else was asking, sorry. oh, multiple base profiles? Yeah, if people would like to play with them. Two bases that actually yeah. between. That's there. Um, that would be cool. Not something that's... Uh, not in the works, though. Um, let's see, let's see, Rob Sonoe has asked a few times, do you plan missing Dinobots and changes in leaderboard? Uh, yeah. Currently the, the leaderboard <laughs> structure for the event is the one that we, we showed. Uh, mm -hmm. We always reevaluate uh, the performance and, and how, how the events pan out. It's not ideal if it's always the same uh, five alliances getting the four star. Um, it's yeah, it's not an it, it, ideal situation, but it's not it's not a simple answer to just like increase the number. Um, it, yeah, it's 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 not easy to balance. Uh, this is a, another one of the Andrew questions. He probably can supply with way more um, reasoning behind keeping the event right now as it is. Mm -hmm. But uh, it might change the next time we do a leaderboard event. Uh, we always uh, we 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 look at each indi individual event. Um, as well as the the kind of the curve that the population is taking and how many battles people do and stuff like that. So we try to make you know educated educated solutions rather than blind guesses. Uh, there is logic behind it. I can't say exactly. Um, you know, I, I can't describe it all uh, in Speak detail. Speak random, Adam. Uh, yeah, we need to bring him in. Yeah, I'll force him. Uh, when we, it comes to Dynabots, I've week. already said on the stream we want to add more Dynabots to the game. Uh, we want to compete the team yes. uh, of the Dinobots, and I would like to add Paddles to the game. Paddles is the best Dinobot. Uh, he's the one who got stuck in sand and forgotten for like 40 years, and nobody knew where he was, and he was just waiting, and he lost count after many years, and he just kept waiting. It's the saddest story of Transformers Universe, I think, Sounds and one that sad. deserves to be told in Transformers Air Force. Amen. Go Paddles! Speaking of uh, Dinobots, um Mark, our cinematic artist, is making a sick trailer right now, which uh, includes some, some Dinobot stuff. So it's pretty cool. I love oh, what? I love Paddles. Oh, Paddle. so it's so good. It's probably his best one yet, which is saying a lot. He's pretty talented. Um, somebody on Facebook was asking about matchmaking. Uh, I don't know if you covered that Ooh. in the beginning. Oh, actually, uh, there's a couple improvements to matchmaking uh -huh. for there the alliances. Uh, we're fixing the long waits for alliance wars uh, for small amount uh, of like for some alliances with a small <laughs> number of people and some some alliances were affected by by very long uh, waits wait times. That's been fixed. Um, what else? Is it, um, matchmaking itself. I think there was there were some improvements that were we developed. We had them live and then we turned them off by accident. And uh, I think that's that's. On again, or, or should be on, or should be coming online. Uh, so, yeah, I hope that helps uh, with whatever issue you have. Oh, this is cool. Uh, Pang Master says internal alliance challenges? Question mark. Fight another member base. Uh, it's 
It's a cool idea. It's a cool think, idea. I it's, 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 somewhere, it's somewhere on the list. It's been mentioned multiple times. Mm. Uh, it's just a balancing act, as always. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, uh, we are <laughs> going to uh, wrap it up um, pretty, pretty soon as of now. <laughs> um, but we do hope that you look forward to Perceptor and Lockdown, who will be in this weekend's event called Target Locked. To Target Locked. Chance at 2, 3, or 4 star. Uh, Perceptor or Lockdown. Uh, it is a Totalizer Alliance event, so get to HQ4. Don't know why you haven't. Yeah. A level up Good your... Um, level up your abilities yeah, once you get them. Um, the abilities themselves were improved some time ago. Uh, mm -hmm. Check out the Newsfeed dialogue, especially for Decepticon. Yes, uh, exactly. It's, it's quite, quite funny. We would love to see your own interpretations of that dialogue. So if you've got somebody... Oh, you can record your voice, you yeah. Can, yeah, you can record... Oh my gosh, please do that. If you do do that, <laughs> record your uh, you know, your voice along with the... My name is Optimus Prime. And then, as always, send it to live at spaceofgames.com. Yes! Yeah. Excellent! Then maybe we can play that instead of you know hearing us do it. Me, Grimlock! Like good voices. Oh gosh, okay. Um, um, yeah, I've only got three, and they're quite bad. But yes, definitely tune in next week because, uh, as we said earlier, we will have a little sneak peek of the new mode that is coming to Transformers Earth Wars that everyone will be pretty excited about. Uh, so don't miss next week. That'll be good. And we have another sneak peek of a couple of new bots that are coming our way. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. Excellent. So this week is short, but next week we'll be here for a full hour with some awesome new stuff. Yeah, enjoy the new build. Yes. With the improvements of the battle. Exactly, and let else. us know uh, next week how, how it is. Yay! Yeah, man. Thanks, guys. We shall see you next week, same time, for some cool new stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Have fun in the event this weekend, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.